Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance, tool cleaning day. So I thought I'd go ahead and review a new product that I'm using. So how can I review a new product? Ultimately, I can't, but I'm going to explain to you the reason why I'm buying it, the cost of it, show it to you and use those things. I'm hoping that this will be one of those comment section reviews where you've used this product yourself. I got a lot of people out there that use different things. Maybe some of you have used this. Share with us your experience, positive, negative, how you use it, all those things in the comment section below so that we know ahead of time, hey, maybe I need to stop using this or maybe I need to use it more than what I'm even using it now because it works so well. So if you're here checking out this product, you might want to double check the comment section, get all that information to help you make the best decision possible. But today's product is Strike Hold. It's a cleaner lubricant protectant, says there for all metals and made in the USA. And this was originally developed for the US military for their guns and things like that. But of course, I'm gonna be using it for tools because it's useful for other things. It's a lubricant, same thing as Houdini, which is what I've always been using. You can pick this up for like $15 on Amazon for an 11 ounce aerosol spray. I usually get mine at my local locksmith and I buy like a case of six, a little bit cheaper that way. But this is a lock lubricant. And that's what it's intended for, and that's why I originally bought it. But I started using it to clean my tools probably 10 plus years ago, and it works great. It, it cleans power tools extremely well, hand tools. But I also clean my tools really regularly, so I don't know about the lubrication factor, how long it lasts. I clean mine often enough that I've never had an issue with rust, but I don't know what would happen if I use this and then, you know, six months go by. I don't use whatever that is and how well would it hold up? How long term is the lubrication effect that you get with this? I don't know about that. I also don't know about this. So it's kind of in the same boat with that. But the strike hold doesn't smell like oranges like the Houdini does. I'll tell you that up front. It's more along the lines of that WD-40 smell. So maybe you like WD-40 smell. I personally think it smells pretty good. But I wouldn't want to spray this in my home and just go to town cleaning my tools on my kitchen table my wife would probably have a problem with that uh, but they have this in the aerosol can as well you can get this one it's a 12 ounce for 20 bucks on amazon but the real reason why i decided to get some and try it out was because i was looking for some of this it's like a liquid form in a spray bottle you know i can take this top off and pour some out put something in it or i can just really soak down something with it by spraying a big gob on something and just let it sit for a long time i was looking for something that wasn't in an aerosol can basically so that's why i'm ultimately trying this one out and this big bottle 16 ounce i think it's 26 dollars. now you can get both of these on their website for a little bit cheaper if you want to go that route i think this one's 17 this one's 23 but that's just an option that you have but again i don't know anything about the long-term effects of it so hopefully it's going to work out well I'm gonna go ahead and use it today, cleaning some tools. I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison kind of of, I'll clean one with Houdini, clean one with Strike Code. You can see how well they clean. Now the lubrication part, we'll just have to see how well as far as the rust prevention and all that over time. Maybe I'll do another video a little bit later on down the road on some of the tools that I've been cleaning with them because I'm gonna purposely clean some over time with this and some with the Houdini and kind of see how they both pan out over the course of time. But let's go ahead and get into cleaning some tools. So before we get into it, I'll go ahead and put this information up there and you can pause it and read it if you want to. That's some of their little like, uh, you know, key features of the lubricant. If you want to read those things, it gives you some more detail about it again. I'm primarily going to use it as a cleaner slash protectant is what I'm using it for. And then if I need some lubricant, I'll, I'll, I'll use it as that. Uh, I'll start out with the Vera screwdrivers. These are the insulated. I've used them quite a bit in the last uh, little bit. So the yellow is starting to get, you know, not yellow as much. I don't know how well you can pick it up. Sometimes you won't be able to tell until you actually clean it. So I'll start out with the Houdini over here. We'll just spray some on. And then I'll make sure and use the same rag on each one. And we'll go through. Clean that off. And again, I don't know how well that that might pick up on here but it takes just a few seconds i mean i i can literally just do this right here if i do it very often and it comes out uh clean i don't know that these were extremely dirty uh, versus i can use the strike code same way i did notice that the strike codes aerosol maybe doesn't seem like it's quite as stout of a spray um, but as far as 
cleaning, I think on those two, it's pretty much very similar as far as the effect that I'm getting. Not a lot of difference, but again, these weren't overly dirty. Uh, I was trying to find my find me one of these that was a little more dirty, but I honestly haven't been doing a lot of insulated work in the last few weeks, so I haven't really used these as much. Here are my Knipix Forge wire strippers. They've had a sound to them. I'm not sure if you can hear that. I'm going to spray a little bit of this. Allow that to work in. And the sound appears to be gone. I'm not hearing anything. So again, I like the fact that I can take a spray like this now and kind of just slowly saturate certain parts of a tool and maybe i don't have to spray so much of the lubricant out of the spray can like what i do with the houdini or even this strike code because there's a little bit more control over being able to just pull a trigger and maybe i want to just put some lube on this tool right here let the, pretty thick let that sit there for a little while let that soak in and maybe it will get rid of that you know sound that i got going on which it appears to have done so uh, again, we'll just have to see over time how long uh, that lasts. And I did notice that it doesn't really leave a horrible residue, that strike coat. You know, if I wipe off the excess, I don't feel it on my handles. Uh, still feels good. I got a lot of grip still right there. I wouldn't have a problem being able to grip onto those to be able to use this tool right now, even after I just put oil on them. So I think that it's good in that way. That is the thing that it says that it has is it doesn't leave... You know a residue behind or anything like that these klein uh knipic or the klein uh, diagonal cutters they've been a little stiff ever since i bought them so i'm actually another reason again why i'm wanting something like this is i can really get right here put me a few little squirts just right in that certain spot let that sit off to the side for a little while we'll just set that there for now uh, let that sit for a while, see how that goes. Uh, same thing, these knipics have gotten, you know, they're still falling some, but they're not opening 100% sometimes. So I'm going to go ahead and put some on those as well and let that sit. So again, that's the main reason why I'm getting this route. Now, what I get into most of the time on my cleaning my tools and why I like the aerosol is, say, like my M12 oscillating tool here. Um, you get a lot of sawdust and things that will get up in these areas. And whereas I can take like this Houdini spray and just go to town on it. I mean, I can literally just sit here and spray all up inside of there. I can't easily get up in that, but it will break all that stuff free. Let me get up in there. And wipe that stuff out gets all that little sawdust up from in out of there and then it usually leaves a little bit more up in there if I really wanted to get up in there to get some of that stuff out I could but more than anything I'm just trying to get my tool you know in a better presentable space and again this works well on all this black stuff and things like that you can see there where I can basically make this tool almost look like new again even though I've used it quite a bit in the last few days and like even like stuff like this right here it's really hard to get into there to do any kind of cleaning and lubricating but with a spray like this you can just spray stuff down in there and again I don't recommend anybody doing this because it's your power tools you make the decision for it I'm just telling you that I've used it for 10 plus years and I don't think I've ever had an issue uh, with any power tools and it becoming a problem or tearing up any of my tools for, for whatever reason whatsoever. So again, the Houdini works really well. Cleaning these hand tools, nice smell, or cleaning these power tools, nice smell, no residue, uh, 
the grip feels nice still. There's no slickness on that. Uh, you can get in there and clean out these buttons. And it's like almost brand new looking again, you know. I used this quite a bit this last week. Uh, now it looks brand new again. I can put that in my truck, take it in a customer's home, and be fine with that. Now let's try the strike hold. I've got my Hitachi 16-gauge uh, nailer. You can see there's quite a bit of dust and stuff up inside of all these points right in here. So I'm going to use this strike hold as the same way that I would normally use the Houdini. Hit this up. Lube all this stuff up. Even the plastic. Because that's the main thing is I don't want a cleaner where I've just got to, can only get it on metals. You know, the Houdini doesn't have cause a problem even though it doesn't say that it won't. Uh, the strike code specifically says that it's safe to use on wood, plastics, all sorts of things like that. So again, the fact that I can spray it on a tool wherever I want to and then also get in there and clean it at the same time, that's what I'm looking for. I want this tool to perform for me the next time I get it out just the same as it did whenever I got it out of the box. That's my goal, that's my aim, and then I also want it to last for me for a long period of time. And I have been getting this all over my wood desk down here, and it wipes right up. Doesn't seem like it's causing an issue with that at the moment either, and I've already used this. I, this isn't my first time using the strike hold. I've used it for two or three times now. This is just my first time, you know, showing it to you guys to let you know that it exists. But I can go over top of all the over mode, all the little things like this. There's always stuff that gets inside of these little cracks and stuff. You could just hit it up, wipe it off. Now that one looks like a new tool again. Now I use the rag that I'm going to, that I just cleaned my air gun with to clean my Knipex little hammer slash nippers. And again, this takes, this is literally how I would normally clean this tool. I might put some of this on a rag, spray some on it like so, get it inside that joint, and then just walk, go over it like this, real fast, go over the handles. It takes literally five to 10 seconds per tool. And now I'm not cleaning every tool that I own today. I said it's tool cleaning day. I'm cleaning the ones that have been in my truck in the back that I've just got done using on a job or I've got done using over the last couple of days on the job. And so I've got maybe 15 tools out here, 10 to 15 seconds a piece. You keep them looking new, you keep them working well, helps you get the best bang for your buck out of your tools, helps you look good in front of the customer, and it just helps them perform in the way that they should. I got my wear a ball handles here. Again, I'm just gonna spray some strike coat on here. Wipe that off. So that's what the aerosol, cleaning up that yellow, going over the ball. And then maybe on the red one, if I wanted to use some spray, I'll just put a little bit on there. Do the same exact thing. Again, just a few seconds per tool. Now they look good as new again. I mean, they do have a few scuffs and things like that. You can't get rid of those, but they look good. They feel good in my hand. You know, there isn't a lot of residue on this. I think the strike hold does have a little bit more of a slick residue than what maybe the Houdini has. Uh, it's not drastically more, but I do feel like it is more. So that's something to think about on your hand tools that are rubber like this. So again, it's just an option that's out there. To me, I wanted this right here is the whole reason why I have it. I don't think it's going to replace Houdini for me on my, especially my power tools and things like that because I like the way it feels more so on my rubber over mold and things like that. But I see its use in cases like this one right here where I wanted to try to you know, loosen up this handle a little bit and see what I could do, see if I could get that better. 
Uh, same thing on the Klein. That one's still stiff. Maybe we'll have to work that in a little more. It's more so a stiffness that you're just going to have to work in by using the tool, I think, more so than anything. But the more you can get some lubricant in there, uh, you can see I've got quite a bit of dirt that worked up out of that little joint right there just while I was uh, had that going on. So we wiped that off. And you just keep working it. You'll eventually get it to where it will loosen up some. Sometimes you, I've had some that I've never been able to get loosened up, so it doesn't really matter what you do sometimes. Uh, but again, I like this, that I can just do this right there. You can see I even worked up a little bit more. Spray a little bit on there. And then start trying to get that worked in over time. Get all that stuff out of there and do yourself some help with that. So, so yeah, guys, that is the Strike Hold Lubricant. Again, they have aerosol. They have regular spray. They have smaller, bigger bottles. All sorts of different options out there. Uh, does a pretty good job it seems like on cleaning and things like that the lubricant protectant all those things we'll have to see over the course of time uh, but i hope it was useful what i showed you in some way but again don't forget in the comment section below if you've been using this product help me help anybody else watching this uh, video out by letting us know what your experience is with it good bad and different whatever it is make sure and comment that down below but i hope this video was useful you guys stay safe have a blessed day and i'll see you on the next video